Hey guys, it's me Helena. I am here in Bordeaux at a beautiful public garden and yesterday while I was walking around the city I had this sudden realization, this aha moment of clarity and insight that came to me and I have been thinking about it for the last 24 hours and I really want to share this with you. People are afraid to be authentically themselves. People are really afraid to shine bright, shine their truth without fear of judgment. The first thing that really inspired me was an email I received a few days ago from a woman who found my blog and she basically said, you know, I love your vibe, I love how openly you share your passionate self and you share your interests so freely. And she said, honestly, I'm a little envious, but I recognize that this is a reflection of my own trauma, my own experiences and my own insecurities. And I saw this email and I was like, wow, what? an emotionally intelligent woman. Someone who has the self-awareness to recognize that sometimes it's not always about the other person. Sometimes it's about what needs to be healed within ourselves. And she recognized that and I just thought, wow, how rare is that? When we heal those parts within us that need healing, we're really so much more receptive and open to life's blessings. I was also walking around yesterday in Bordeaux and since I got to Bordeaux I've been so inspired to take photos and Instagram stories. If you guys follow me on Instagram you know that when I travel I like to post you know Instagram stories of like the vibe, the energy of the place that I'm in. Um, I like I like to share, I love to document this. So as I was taking these Instagram stories and sharing the photos of my time here in Bordeaux, I remember Alex telling me you know I want to post too, but I'm also afraid that people will think I'm bragging or people will think I'm rubbing it in their faces that I'm traveling and seeing these beautiful places. And I, I, I just had this moment of, of realization where I was like, who cares? Like, who cares? If you are enjoying the process of taking photos and sharing it with other people and you're enjoying that experience of doing that, who cares if you rub some people the wrong way? That's on them. If people are triggered by you for having fun and taking photographs and sharing them openly with others and they're offended by that and they're triggered by that, that's nothing to do with you. That has nothing to do with you. That has to do with them. And I'm making this video because I feel so passionate about this. This concept of we see everything through our own filter in life. We see everything from our own lens of perception, through our personal life experiences that we've gone through in our life, in our childhood, our own triggers and insecurities and wounds that we feel within us. And we see life through this lens. Some of you, if you see someone living an abundant, happy, joyous life, you may be triggered by that person because it shows to you that which you lack or the things that you don't have. And for anyone who feels this way, who gets triggered by other people's happiness or other people's joy or other people's experiences in life, I implore you to do the healing work, to do the inner work, to question why. Why do I feel this way? Why am I triggered? What just set me off? Why am I feeling unhappy when I follow this person on Instagram? Why are their travels making me upset? Why is this person making money making me feel inferior? Eleanor Roosevelt, she said that famous quote, you know, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. You have full ownership and power over your own life and how you choose to view things in the world. And so many of us are afraid to be our true selves, to shine bright, to be honest and raw and real and to share the joys of our lives and, and the insights we get and we want to talk and share with others because we're so afraid of what other people think of us. We're so afraid that we might trigger people or make people feel inferior or make people feel insecure. And even here in Bordeaux the other day as I was taking stories before I started posting I, I thought to myself what if I post a trigger warning you know I post a quick Instagram story saying hey just to let you know I'm gonna be posting some photos of my time here in Bordeaux and some videos 
please don't get offended. If this offends you, feel free to unfollow for a while and come back when I'm back at home. You know, I thought about making like a little trigger warning type story where I just let people know like, hey, I'm gonna be posting. So if this bothers you, if me traveling bothers you, if me having great food and experiences is going to make you feel inferior in any way, feel free to unfollow for a while. And then I thought to myself, why would I do that? Why would I do that? Because I'm trying to justify to other people that I'm having a good time, that I'm trying to justify my reasoning to express myself through photography. I just, I had this, this moment of clarity was I was walking down the street and I was just like, why would I do that? What am I trying to prove to people? What am I trying to justify to other people? Am I trying to justify my enjoyment in my travels? How silly is that? And then I thought, there must be so many people in this world who are afraid to shine bright as their true selves. They're afraid to document their lives, to post it on Instagram, to post it on YouTube, to make a blog post, to start that thing, to take the action towards that thing because they're afraid of what other people think. They're afraid that they will rub people the wrong way. If you have a pure heart, if your intentions are good and innocent and pure and all you want to do is to share your love for life and just share your experiences and the beautiful things that you're experiencing in life with others and there's no malicious intent, no intention to make others feel bad, what have you got to lose? Even I go through these moments where I question myself and I doubt myself and should I be posting photos of my travels? Should I be making videos of my experiences eating great food? Won't that rub people the wrong way? Maybe, maybe, yeah. But that's not my problem. That's not my job. My job is to have fun and enjoy my life and stay honest and stay authentic to who I am. And that means me making a lot of content because it fuels me and drives me and gives me this passion for life and to share it with others openly with an open heart and pure intentions. I hope that if there's one thing you can take away from this video, it's that remember that everyone's seeing things through their own filter, their own projections, their own lens, their filter that they see life. Everyone comes from different experiences. Some of us have deep insecurities around certain things in life and others have insecurities around completely different things. Just know that everyone's coming at life through their own filter. And when you can just ignore the noise, ignore the, the need to justify yourself to everyone who's going through all these different experiences and emotions, when you can just block that off, you will make people offended. Let them be offended. Let them unfollow you. They have inner work to do. There is healing that needs to be done. And I'm saying this as someone who has done a lot of healing work. I'm saying this from someone who used to always get triggered by Instagram, by seeing people's happiness online, by seeing the abundance and amazing experiences and travels that other people had and then them sharing that on Instagram. I used to be triggered by that. And it's because I've healed so much of myself through subconscious reprogramming, through meditation, neural reprogramming, EFT tapping, and then just journaling my feelings and noting and observing when I'm triggered, asking myself why. Why am I triggered by this? Why is this upsetting me? And then getting to the root cause of the reasoning for it. That has profoundly changed my life. Our most authentic self is quite peaceful and it's very present and it's naturally happy for other people who are doing things that bring them joy. This is the most radical thing that we can do in our lives, to heal ourselves first so that we can then lead by example. And you know that you've healed when you're no longer envious of other people who are living an abundant life. When the people that you see are living such amazing, aligning, abundant filled lives, you no longer feel, feel triggered by them. You no longer feel insecure, like why not me or all of that because you're so content in your own skin. You, you trust the timing of your own life. You trust the path you're on. You trust your journey and you honor your energy and your authentic self. When we do that, oh my God, is that powerful? And 
people are really afraid to be true to themselves. People are really afraid to be honest and authentic to themselves because we're so afraid of other people judging us, canceling us, criticizing us. You've got nothing to lose. You have nothing but your life to lose. And your life, your precious existence, your time on earth is the most important thing. And so choose to spend every minute doing the things that bring you joy and that make you feel, make you come alive. Film and document your life. Share your opinions. Share your Instagram stories freely. Share your photos of the food you're eating, the travels you're taking, the things that bring you joy. Because that's an extension of what lights you up. It's an extension of your joy. And that is infectious. Joy and passion is so contagious. And I can tell you that when you are in alignment doing things that authentically light you up, you will inspire other people around you. You will. And it's a ripple effect. It's a freaking spider web. When you honor your energy and you honor your decisions and your choices, over time, little by little, these choices will profoundly impact you and your self-esteem and your self-worth. Yeah, I really hope this encourages you to uh, post the damn story, post the damn photo. Start putting yourself out there and being honest and true to yourself. If that means saying no to someone, if that means upholding your boundaries, do it. Don't let other people's insecurities stop you from doing what feels fun to you. Don't let other people's triggers or wounds or insecurities and thoughts stop you from living your truth. And remember that it has nothing to do with you. So many of us see things through a filter. As long as you're coming from an authentic, kind, and compassionate place, that's what matters. I hope that this video gives you a little bit of inspiration or confidence or empowerment and yeah, stay true to yourself. Be honest with yourself and honor your energy. Bye.